going on guys? Welcome to a new video on Xenoverse 2. My name is Minas SGN and in this video I'm going to really quickly show you how you can get the Ultra Instinct Goku wig and it's really really cool uh, wig to put on your CAC so you can make your own Ultra Instinct character. Now later on towards the end of the video I'm going to show you my own version of Ultra Instinct with the wig and the clothes and stuff like that. Alright so how you get the Ultra Instinct Goku wig is you go to Parallel Quest number 125. It's called the Proofs in the Portera and interestingly enough when I did the Parallel Quest and I got the wig to drop I did not have to fight Ultra Instinct Goku to get the wig. Now, Ultra Instinct Goku is in this parallel quest, and to get the ultimate finish for this, you're going to have to defeat him at some point in time. But um, when I got the wig to drop, the equipment, it's actually going to pop up on the screen here pretty soon. I didn't actually have to finish the parallel quest with the ultimate finish, or at least I did finish it with the ultimate finish, but I feel like if I didn't, I would have still got the wig anyway, or maybe you kind of do have to finish it with the ultimate finish. I guess you can be the judge of that. Um, but I got the wig to drop right at the finish, and then it starts the ultimate finish part. I, uh, I actually defeat Hit, and it's going to come up in just a few moments here. You'll see me beat Hit uh, with me and the homies that we're going through the parallel quest with, and then that's when the equipment will drop, and that equipment is the Ultra Instinct wig. And unfortunately in this run, I didn't get any of the skills to drop, um, but I did get the wig, and that's kind of what I was going in to get, but I, of course I did want the skills. But we did the parallel quest again, and we did get the skills and everything out of there, and I'll go ahead and make a video about that a little bit later, but this time I just wanted to show you the Ultra Instinct wig. Alright, so here it is. There it is, right there. You got got equipment and that is the end of it and then that was the finish and then this is the ultimate finish and then I'm just going to jump to the next part where we finish it off and show you the uh, ending part here it is right here there's Ultra Instinct Goku and you know I don't know I don't know why they didn't make it to where you can defeat Ultra Instinct Goku and then get the wig but they made it to where you defeat hit I guess maybe it's different for different people I'm interested to hear how you got the wig whether or not you got it on Ultra Instinct Goku there it is right there and I'm going to go ahead and transform Yoshi because he's his hair is already white. I know his eyes are kind of wrong for Ultra Instinct, so don't roast me too harshly. I didn't want to spin my Dragon Balls to change his eyes. So his hair is already white, just like the Ultra Instinct wig. So basically what I'm going to do is put on the uh, training suit top for Vegeta and then put on the torn Gi Goku pants and then the Goku... Um, wristbands or the hands i guess but they're wristbands and then the uh, goku boots and that's going to complete my ultra instinct look now the build that i'm running with is like completely different than what i thought it was going to be i wanted to use spirit bomb and super spirit bomb and i guess with the new buff or nerfs or whatever they did to the skills like they completely changed his skill i mean i used to use spirit bomb a little bit and it never reacted like this so when i'm going to go into training with the character using the ultra instinct build that i put together i'm not going to show you the build set because it's not any of the new skills and i know you guys don't want to see the new skills but it's interesting that at some point in time during this match i throw an accidental spirit bomb i was trying to do i was trying to bring up data input when i was fighting kefla this time and this is just a computer me fighting the computer i was trying to use um the data input and I ended up accidentally throwing out a spirit bomb now what is so crazy about this is that the spirit bomb like does a complete 180 from across the screen and comes back and hits her I don't remember it ever doing that so maybe that's something that they added with the new buff or maybe I'm just really really tripping and never knew how to actually use spirit bomb but I do believe that this is something new they added here it comes it's about to happen right here this is crazy right now I'm gonna knock her away and there it is the spirit bomb I was trying to do data input but I ended up messing up, and I threw it all the way over there. Now watch this. Watch the Spirit Bomb now. Look, what, what is that? What is that? I have never seen Spirit Bomb do that in the entire time that I have played Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I mean, I, is that something new, or is that old? <laughs> I don't know. I'm interested to hear what you have to say about that down in the comments. And, uh, you know, what are the nerfs and buffs that they make and changes? I'm still super bloated about that Big Bang Kamehameha, how that change doesn't even, like, work anymore. Like, you can't, like, teleport with it. But uh, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys can run out and get your own Ultra Instinct wig. And if you want to, man, tweet me your Ultra Instinct CAC picks at Ventus underscore SGM because I'm interested to see, like, what different spins and twists you guys take on it. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.